good. I think it's afternoon. We're going to pretend it's morning because, yeah, that's just where we are today. I'm going to share kind of a modified morning routine with you because I haven't done it in a while and a couple of thoughts because that's just what we're doing. I'm not going to do makeup because it's in the afternoon and, you know, the day is pretty much gone. Had a migraine all day yesterday. Y'all know the deal. I was worthless, useless, all that stuff that goes with having migraine. Um, well, when I say that, I could still pray when I have a migraine, so I'm not exactly worthless and useless. But anyway, let's get to this. I'm going to share a couple thoughts with you. EJ may pop in because he's done with his school. Guys, he's, has, he's got seven days left. Can you believe he has seven days left? This is going by quickly. You must get the stool. You know that. Going to start. This is another little favorite that I have added to. It's from the Inky List. I tend to like their um, cleansers better than I do the ordinary. So, yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to do this while he talks to you. I'm your little talking rascal. I have an announcement for everybody on our channel. I just turned into a yellow belt. Tell them that I tested yesterday. I tested just yesterday, and I am a yellow belt. If I go to graduation Saturday, which I'm probably done. Your mommy's taking you to graduation Saturday. I am really excited. Hey, uh... I want to tell you this. If you do premiere martial arts for every for all the fans out there, any kind of karate, when you get your next belt level, you lose all your stripes. Uh, yeah, but you have, you gain more stripes because you you learn more stuff. Yeah. So you can call me Ian the Yellow Belt. Ninja. Ninja. Power! <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me what the purpose of learning martial arts is? The purpose of learning martial arts is to help you fight. More than that. Yeah, kind of more than that. The purpose is to be modest and the stuff about martial arts and it helps keep you stronger. And what else? What does martial arts, does, does learning martial arts mean you just go out and beat up random people? No. It's for defense, not offense. Offense is just things, punch, 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 punch. But Graham, if you punch me, I probably punch you back. So, so you learn martial arts so that you can defend yourself yes. and your home, right? Mm-hmm. I am. And it teaches you self. Yourself. Self. Self-discipline. Right. It teaches you self-discipline. And it helps you to live a healthier. A healthier, stronger life. Look how, how, look how strong I am. Yes. Can you t tell us some of the it's things that you have important. learned since you've been doing, since you've been training? Well, here are the basics. The basics in martial arts is the guard stance, the set position, the front kick, the side kick, and the spin kick. Right. And you have busy days on Wednesdays, don't you? Yeah, I have really busy days on Wednesdays. Because what do you have to do on Wednesdays? I have to do school, I have to do karate, and now I have to do my play practice. A new play came out, and I'm thinking about creating my own play. Well, one day. It's called the Truck Leech. I'm going with some hyaluronic acid. It's an inky. It's, it looks really inky. <laughs> this is about all you need. You can probably barely see that in my hand. Yeah, because it's clear. No, and because I'm lazy. I'm going to go ahead and mix. I use a collagen peptide serum. 
which is just also clear. Also clear, just a couple of drops. I mix those together, because why not? And then you get... And then I just kind of... Mix stuff up. Onto my skin. And I don't always get everything in the right order, so I have gotten to where I just go with it, because once it's on your face, what's the point of taking it back off if you messed up the order? Um, no you know, point. It's kind of a waste of product. It, you know, it's going to do what it's going to do, and that's yep. just how it is. Keep talking, son. So, as you can see, I got new gra glasses recently. Mm -hmm. I used to wear red, red glasses with black uh, ear holders. I don't remember their name. The things on the sides. You're good. Keep going. So, I got new glasses that look ju that are the shaping just the same as the old ones. Got my right eye is apparently a bit better than my left eye. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. It's actually very good. It's good that my right eye is better. Yes. So I can see better out of my right eye. Oh, with these glasses, I can see far distances. Very good. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do, and he will talk with you again. I'm going to use, I can't, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. It's Argoline, I believe. Um, Let me help you. Solution. Argoline. Um, they refer to this as Botox in a bottle. Stop, please. I'm Thank you. I know you're trying to help, but stop, please. Okay. Um, they refer to this as Botox in a bottle. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I do see results, hence the reason why we're still using it, and we are stocked up. <laughs> um, meaning I have backup, so in case it's out of stock when I need it again, and with it again, just a few drops. What I do is I target the areas that I need to see results the most on, and that is my forehead, where all these little wrinkly crinklies from expression and age are. I mean, I just made the tiniest paper airplane that flies. See I go, this, guys? Hold on, son. I go. Exactly, not not up underneath here. I go right here where I have this little, you know, I pack my bags thing, um, and I cover it. I give it a few seconds, which one, is the equivalent two, of tightening the dropper back down on that one and getting out the next product, which is metricycle, I don't know, May plus high, Hyaluronic acid, which Let me eventually, no, me please, son, the word. you're not helping me, you're interrupting me. Okay, please just let me do this. Um, this works with the, with the other, I'm fixing to have to tickle you. Anyway, this works with the other, and what I, what I learned to do from other channels is to put this all over my face after I spot treat with the other. And again, it's about a drop. Um, something in what I'm doing is doing something, meaning that I see less, there's more, my skin is more plumped up I'm not going to say that my wrinkles are all gone, but there is less visibility, which could just be, you know, it's just plumping it up. I'm sure that if I stopped this for a while, the same issues would come back. So while, yes, the products are doing something and working, I do think that it will, it will come back. Now, I'm going to show you this because, I, again, because I know that I did not pronounce the name correctly. So, hopefully, son, please stop for a minute. So, this is what I put on top of the Arg 
good little buying argillane solution. Now, after I do that, and again, we, we've waited a couple of them a little bit. Um, I go back with the argillane, and I'm probably demolishing the pronunciation of the word. I get more and more than just a, you know, a good amount because I'm going to rub it between both of my hands. And on this time, I'm putting a good coat in not just the trouble spots, but all over my face. I'm now, gonna, I'm hold gonna on. Talking. Hold on. Let me finish my thought. Then you can have yours. Hold your thought in your hold. Hold your thought, please. Thank you. This is how you hold. Yes, your this is how you hold your thought in your head. Um, I can I in some pictures and stuff that I've seen recently. Like I said, something is doing something. So the only thing that I've really changed is adding these two things to the daily routine. So I have to kind of lean towards believing that they're do it's doing something. It's not, even though it's referred to as Botox in a bottle, it is not because as you can clearly see, I can move all of my skin and still make expressions and all that good stuff, which I love. Um, I am not a person that would be happy with Botox. I am not trying to look like I'm 25 years old. I'm just trying to make 56 look as good as I can look and take as good of care of myself as I possibly can. That's where we're at. Now, I'm going to follow that up with a little cute tin from Inky. This is upside down because it's almost empty. And there are some things that I use right now. The Q10 is not one of them. That I added into the routine. That once I use up the product, it will be not in the routine anymore. Not because I don't like it. But because there are just things that I find that I like better. And there's no point in... I don't. And I am just going to be honest with you. If you have a 10, 20 step routine, more power to you. I personally long about the fourth or fifth step. I want to be done. So <laughs> I want to be, you know, doing whatever the next thing is I need to do. So for me, that doesn't exactly work. But while that's, while that's doing its thing, we're going to take... My trusty little caffeine. I used to use the ordinary caffeine. Do recommend that one as well. I like this one better because, as you can see, it is a little bit easier to handle than an oil. I, mean, and so, I know. I understand. Give me just one second. While I'm doing this, I'm going to let Mr. Ian tell you what he's holding his thought because his thought's fixing to run away. Go, son. So, you've seen... You've had a paper air. You've made a paper airplane before. Well, get ready to meet the smallest paper airplane in the world that flies. <laughs> it's small. More made for kids. <laughs> and now we got the big airplane. I can barely fit this in the screen. Look at this gigantic airplane. This one's made for parents. It's still throwable for kids, though. It just doesn't fly real as well. I've made other paper airplanes, too. Just hold on. You may speak, Graham. Oh, thank you. Um, now, the Omega Water Cream from Inky, I will always keep in the rotation. Whenever I use this, you're going to think, because I, I use more than one moisturizer. I like this one to begin with, especially in the evening, um, because I do, a lot of times I will eat a glass, which is using an oil, or I will put a thin coat of Vaseline. So this is one of, just, it absorbs quickly, easily, and gets everything handled so that I can go to that step and not have to wait a whole long time. One second, Sam. I see you. Now, again, we're going to give that time to soak in. This is an iffy. 
and I'm not actually not going to use it today. And, and it's just simply because there's so many that I really like. Like, I cannot pronounce the name of this properly, so I'm just going to show it to you. Um, it does do a good job on anti-aging. Um, if there weren't others that I liked better, I don't, I, this wouldn't be potentially on the chopping block. I'm actually not going to use it today because I'm going to jump straight to, I didn't do any skincare yesterday because migraine that just kind of like appeared and would not respond to any medication at all ruined my whole day. I had a whole date planned with my husband, whole thing, ruined it, not happy. Anyway, this is a peptide moisturizer from Inky, again, um, if you're just getting into skincare, I strongly recommend going to either the Inky List or the Ordinary and kind of see, because the price point is very good. I strongly recommend that you go in there, look for um, products that work for your skin, and then from there, once you build a, a working foundation if you can find all of those in another product that may be at a, at a good price point then by all means you know go to one step i all about that i probably never will <laughs> now i will cut down on the amount of these that i use because it trial and error in which ones i like better obviously you know that's going to cut that down but most of the reason why I use more than one moisturizer is is because they are all um, thinner moisturizers and I have very thirsty skin. So this is one that I like relatively well, but I won't be included keeping it in my routine. One of these two are going to go because they're kind of they're kind of similar in my opinion and I using both of them is just kind of like mm, wait I just showed you the wrong product this one and this one um one of they kind of have to seem to be doing the same seem to do the same thing and I don't really you know don't really need it there this is a thicker as you can see it's a thicker let me hold that up there so you can see how slowly it runs. Um, it's the Sembrite Moisturizer. It is generally the last step of my skincare um, for the morning uh, because it is thicker. And generally, before I prime my face for my makeup, I just, or just finish for my day because it's, uh, I don't know, there's more of a slip I guess for lack of a better way of putting it um there's almost like a I don't want to say Vaseline feel silicone maybe be the right word but it's a thicker formula so I once I finish there then I got you know I can go and do something else for a few minutes and then come back and start my makeup and I like it, it, it kind of like holds everything together during the daytime without having to use an oil because I cannot use an oil over my face and then put my makeup on. Some of you may be able to, if you can, please tell me how you do it because I'm doing it wrong or it just doesn't work with my skin. I've tried it so many different times and it's been an epic fail for my makeup. So if you can shed some information for me, that would be wonderful. But anyway, Ian is butt chomping at the bit to say something, so I'm going to give him the floor. Go ahead, son. So, I've made this paper airplane. This one is the normal sized paper airplane. In a minute, I'm going to make a show about how to make a paper airplane. Like this one. Oh, and this one flies fairly decent. It, my paper airplanes normally crash. Yeah. Including the tiny one. It's okay though, right? Okay, now, while he's collecting things, I'm going to show you 
couple of other things really quickly. This is one of my favorite. And if you followed my videos for a long, long time, when I first tried this, I really didn't like it. Really did not. I mean, was like, yeah. Um, I gave it another shot about six, eight months ago. Love it. I use, let me see if I have one in this. Yes, I do. Um, I got rid of more stuff the other day. Aren't you so proud of me? There's still so much that needs done, but I got rid of stuff. I usually use something like the balm or Clean It Zero, which is a balm that removes makeup. Um, I, I like it. I'm throwing things. I like it real well, but I have discovered that this will take will remove the makeup so I can use it for my first cleanse on days when I need to do a double cleanse and I can either follow it with this which is what I usually do which is the hyaluronic am I doing it right? holding it right can you the hear my car back there are you being rude no I'm not trying to be rude. okay please watch your manners you've done very well so far watch the impulse you can do it thank you so much um the hyaluronic acid cleanser is what I will generally follow up with or the one that I just showed you and I apologize for the correction if you think that I was out of line you just can think that because we are um, we are teaching him impulse control and in order to do that we have to like you know teach him on the spot and correct on the spot don't like doing it but it goes with the territory of raising little people um He's gotten much better. And so, anyway, um, those are the washes that I like. And that's pretty much my morning skincare routine. From there, I will go on to primer if need be and go on to the other. Um, uh, kind of that just kind of discombobulated my train of thought so let's go let me collect for a minute the thought that I would add to this uh, video is if there is an issue that you are passionate about and you are so passionate that you are willing this has zero to do with anybody on YouTube you're so passionate wait you are so passionate about it that you will harass people, including law enforcement, everybody from the mayor of the town that you live in to the governor's office of the state that you live in, you're willing to bother them, as in having multiple people call and call and call and ring their phone off the hook. And we'll get into this more as time progresses and, you know, I can. Um, if you're willing to do all of that and blow up social media, and say ugly things to people and harass people who had zero to do with whatever this is that you're so passionate about. But you cannot show up for an open city council meeting and stand face to face with the mayor that was elected in that city that you probably voted for and the city council that is serving your community then you need to rethink your process because you've wasted time and effort and her and taken time and resources away calling these people repeatedly thinking you're going to get results when you could stand face to face with somebody present your situation present a possible solution and start a start an actual conversation and work towards a solution in that in that regard you've lost respect from them and from me because you've really created to be just you know you're brave behind a phone you're brave behind a keyboard but you're really not brave enough to stand in front of your fellow citizens your fellow um people you're not brave enough your what your mission your passion, your situation that you're trying to resolve, you don't care enough about it to physically stand before the people and say, hey, 
This is a situation. We need help. We need a solution to it. And I'm going to tell you, I agree. There's a problem. It needs a solution. So, I'm not a resident. Can, There's zip not a that I can do. You can use whatever color you want. So... There's where that starts and ends. I, you know, there's nothing. I, my hands are basically tied. So, yeah, that's where that is. Dialing a phone repeatedly is not hard. Typing on a keyboard is not hard. If it matters to you, show up. When you can talk to these individuals, that can make the changes you want to see. And keep showing up until it happens. Okay? Showing up in any other format, not going to matter. It may get you on the news or something like that. But it's not going to bring attention, the right attention, to the issue at hand. Also... That's just, that's just where it is. Thanks for sticking with me this far. Thanks for going through my morning routine. Spend a little time with EJ. Congratulate him on getting that yellow belt in the comments. Y'all have a great day. Remember, I am the mayor's daughter. And I'm the mayor's great-grandson. We love you oh so very much. We'll see you in the next video.